This tutorial covers the secure shell connection. The secure shell OpenSSH is developed by OpenBSD team. So we are going to look how to connect to FreeBSD from another machine. So in this example, I'm going to show you how it looks by default if you're accepting by default install to have the SSH secure shell login as we did in the installation tutorial of the simple installation. So by default, you can get a client for Windows. This client can be found if you Google for putty. Putty is the client for a secure shell from Windows. So you can manage your Linux machines, BSD machines, any type of Unix machine that runs the secure shell. So here you get the one for Windows, simply putty.exe to download. I already got this, I don't download it twice. So here is the machine and we are going to connect to it remotely. I begin to check what IP address. Here we can see the IP address. And then I open the PuTTY client and here in the Windows version you enter the IP address. So this can be connected over a local area network and also internet connection. And what's good with the secure shell is that it's encrypted. This means that traffic, if someone listens to the traffic, they will not get any good result because the traffic when it's encrypted cannot be read in clear text. So as long as they don't have your key, they cannot see what's going on between the connection. So passwords are being sent also encrypted. Everything is encrypted when you use the secure shell. Then when you enter the address, you simply take open. You will get this screen. This screen tells that if we trust the fingerprint of the encrypted key, select yes. I do like this. This is the server. I minimize it right now. And we have the party client open here. So imagine that this is the FreeBSD standard installation. If you try to log in as root, access denied. It's because you're not permitted by default to log in as the root user to this connection. So I'd simply close this window. I open and try to make a connection again. Now I try to log in as a normal user. And it functioned. We are going to take a look how to remove the, the limitation of not being able to log in as root over the secure shell in FreeBSD. So when you have this secure shell opened, you can make commands to the machine like normal. And you get the answer back. So this is a remote connection to, to this machine. Okay, we are going to cover now the uh, method of making root permitted to log in. First of all, you need to edit the config file of the SSH, the secure shell. And this is the file. Now you need to search in this configuration file for the secure shell daemon for permit route. And notice that permit route is begin with a caption. So you need to search for it with caption to find it. And delete the hash. Now permit route login stands no. Remove the no 
and insert yes. Now you simply save this. We have edited the file. Now we need to restart the secure shell daemon. This is done by entering etc rc.d sshd restart and now we should try to log in as root. Again I open the putty client. I paste the IP address there, open, wrote, and there we are logged in. So to make a summary of everything we were taking was that we were actually logging into the SSH daemon and this daemon has been, uh, daemon I should say, has been um, default since installation. In another tutorial we will watch how to enable this if you didn't enable it by default in the installation. Well, so now we have a connection to our local machine, but not directly to the machine over the, um, the primary screen. Now it goes with secure shell instead. If you want to connect to a machine in, um, in the Unix system, I can show it also, very simple. I disconnect this one. And we open our Unix machine. You simply do like this. SSH followed by the IP address. And then it's the same principle here, you can see. We have to accept the key, yes. First time you need to accept the key. So by default I didn't put any username, so it assumes that I want to log in as the user as I am right now. And I was entering my password. And I'm logged in to my web server. You can see my web server has been on for 61 days. This means that I connected to my web server over the secure shell inside of my BSD machine. It's uh, really cool and very useful. And uh, if you think about it, to be able to manage your servers with text format like sending a code, like commands, instead of using the mouse or pointer and getting graphic back over the network, you save a lot of network traffic using this method instead of the typical ways of Microsoft remote system. So that's pretty it. So if you want to disconnect, simply type exit and we're back to our system again. And you can see connection to 192.68.0.100 closed. In the other tutorials coming up soon, we will take a look of how to copy between machines over the secure shell and we will also take a look how to enter encrypted file transfer with the secure shell.